This is a concept car, Alex. It is worth over a million pounds, so don't crash it. Luckily, there's not a lot to crash into, but if anyone can, I can. This is a typical car park in the UK. Boring, isn't it? What's more, it's also full of large, heavy vehicles that are uninspiring to look at and sometimes downright ugly. Yep, this one's mine. And Citroen agrees, which is why they're back with another quirky electric car concept that builds on what the AMI has done for urban mobility, except for the whole Monaco hairpin thing. So then, what is the Oli? In essence, it's Citroen's answer to the future of the family hatchback. Where less is more and where low weight and a 68 mile per hour limited top speed means long range. To look at, it's also quite a statement piece whose straight, clean lines are the result of product design over traditional automotive elegance. I mean, just look at this thing. If the movie Total Recall made a comeback, which I really hope it does, this Ollie would 100% be the brand new Johnny Cab. And trust me when I say it is even more impressive in the flesh than it is on screen. So let's start with design. As you can see, the front, very blunt, very functional. All these straight edges are very, very cool. It's one of those cars, it's just so tactile. You wanna grab everything and just move it about and rock it about. But I'm not gonna do that too much because this is a one of one and it costs over a million pounds to make. So uh, this is obviously a concept car, remember that. Now, one of the most striking features probably is this window here, the windscreen that's completely flat, a bit like a Hummer. And you're probably thinking, oh, that's not gonna be very good for aero. But Citroen have thought of that because in between these lights here are air ducts that direct air through here, out here, and then effectively, so says Citroen, makes a virtual windscreen that's a bit like that, so that's very good. We've got three windscreen wipers that I think are very, very cool. And then to the side, We've got massive kind of Tonka toy wheels and tires. Now these Goodyears, they're not production tires, obviously they have been made especially for the Ollie. They are 20 inches. The hubcaps as well, this is plastic, this is steel, and the insert here is plastic again. Then on the side, we've got cool kind of functional mirrors. And then these windows here, they kind of go inwards and then you've got a little bit of a hip here, but the essence of the Ollie is all functional materials, keeping costs down. A lot of plastic, and uh, we'll, we'll get onto other materials that are used here. It's very, very interesting. On every corner, we've got these wheel arches, which are interchangeable, a bit like the AMI. The doors as well are interchangeable, and the front and rear plastic bumpers, also interchangeable. So it just keeps costs down, which is very cool. At the rear again, we've got these protruding rear lights, and then my favorite feature of the Oli has got to be this billet aluminium piece here that says, nothing moves us like Citroen. And it says it about a thousand times on it. This piece here alone took apparently seven days to make. Billet aluminium, very, very cool. We've also got this very cool, large floating Citroen badge, which is kind of showing us a glimpse into the future of Citroen, the design language. And then the pickup bed as well. This all folds flat. That rear window folds flat and you can just have a flat boot floor effectively to make it a properly functional Citroen Ollie that does everything that you need. The quirky styling of the Citroen Ollie proves that you don't need to have a sexy car to have a super cool car. And this being a Citroen concept car, you already know that the materials are anything but run of the mill. In fact, a lot of the Ollie is made of corrugated cardboard that's formed into a honeycomb sandwich and bonded with special paint. And this stuff is strong too. In fact, it'll hold the weight of a grown man or, you know, me. All of these vertical lines, flat surfaces and recycled materials add up to a low weight of just 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds. To put that into context, that's the same figure as a Mark 1 Mazda MX-5, a pint-sized sports car of the 90s. Low weight also negates the need for massive propulsion, which is why the Oli comes with a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack for a claimed range of 248 miles. And that's very impressive, as is the Ollie's interior, where Citroen's mantra of less is more continues. Take these seats, for example. They're very basic. They are also 3D printed and take 80% fewer parts to make. I love them. They look uncomfortable, but you know what? They're not actually too bad. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. More 3D printed uh, objects inside here. In, inside this kind of cubby area, we've got um, what were described as uh, golf tees. And the reason that they're there 
is so if you've got your phone or anything like that, it just stops it from clattering about. Nice little design. Speaking of mobile phones, there is also a very handy little mobile phone slot here um, that only houses this phone, it doesn't house any other phone. So don't get too excited, but maybe this could be a preview of things to come from Citroen. What else? We've got a basic steering wheel. We've got no big screens. It reminds me of an old car, you know, where it is just you and the car doing the driving. It's quite nice. Basic features here, you can go from neutral into drive and then into reverse, no frills. It's nice and airy, it seats four people. I like the fact that there are so many recycled materials in here. And the orange is also quite a cool, uh, quite a cool little option. There is also one more cool uh, feature of this. And you know you've got speakers in the doors. We obviously don't do that because we're in an Ollie. So the speakers are plugged in to the dashboard. So uh, if you want to go down to the beach or I don't know, do whatever you want to do while listening to your tunes, you can take your music with you. I quite like that. Now, obviously, the Ollie isn't a production car, so I can't actually take it on the road to do a proper journalistic test drive. So what do you say we take it for a quick blast around this massive hangar? Remember, this is a concept car, Alex. It is worth over a million pounds, so don't crash it. Luckily, there's not a lot to crash into, but if anyone can, I can. I'll give it a bloody good go. No, I won't. I'm only joking, Citroen. Right, so knocked into D. First thing you notice, there's a lot of whirring going on. There's a lot of kind of echo reverb in here as well. The turning circle is... Very good, very good actually. Oh, you can hear the wheel, you can hear the wheel squeaking a lot. Yeah, it's like a, like a London taxi in turning circle. The brakes feel brakey. There's not a lot I can tell you at such low speeds, I'm afraid, but what I can tell you yeah, with it accelerates and it stops as you would expect. Uh, it's very noisy in here, very concept car-y. The steering itself feels, I mean, the, the weight of the steering changes. Remember, concept car, over a million pounds. It's not, it's not a production car, right? So everyone just needs to calm down. So we've got the electric motor on the front axle, which means that the Citroen Oli is actually front wheel drive. We've got a range of 248 miles. Not to 60, I don't know, no one's told me because no one's tested it. I could get used to this. I can imagine driving one of these in a city or even, you know, you can do 68 miles an hour in this. So you can actually take it on a motorway and who gets above 70 miles an hour on a motorway these days? It's disgusting. As for the seats, they are very, very firm, but they are pretty comfortable. Loads of really nice lumbar support. So that's nice. And what I like about the Ollie is that because it is so small, it's only 4.2 meters long, I think 1.9 meters wide, you know exactly where each of the wheels is in comparison to the road. And the wheels are also pretty far out on the extremities of the car. So it's easy to place, it's easy to drive. You've only got two pedals to worry about, go and stop. It accelerates fairly swiftly. I'd say it's sedate. It's definitely not like the uh, production electric cars that we're used to these days where they rip your face off. <laughs> I do like the little ooh, whirring noise, it's good fun. But yeah, I'm most impressed with the turning circle. It is, it's very, very good. I mean, yeah, credit where credit's due. Citroen have pulled it out of the bag with this one. It looks fantastic. I love the sustainability of it and it drives and they're letting me drive their one million pound concept car. So fair play, thank you very much indeed. So then that's the Ollie concept. Citroen's answer to future family mobility whose modus operandi of less is more is a refreshing and quirky look at where the company is heading. It's fun, innovative, great to look at and shows intent of stripping its cars back to their bare bones. It's also a wake-up call to car makers that mobility doesn't always have to be wrapped up in a curvaceous, soundproof box. Whether or not future buyers will be swayed to Citroen's way of thinking will remain to be seen. But for now, you can't deny you're a little bit excited at the prospect.